So there's a million different pieces of information out there that you're getting hit at every day, whether you're using Stocks to Trade as your screener or you're using some other source of news. So much out there, but so much is not actionable and actually can get you in trouble. So today, I'm gonna show you how to cut through the BS on a press release. Hey everyone, Lead Training with Stacks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And then also, wherever you're watching this, maybe it's Facebook, maybe it's Instagram, maybe it's YouTube, ring the bell on YouTube, turn your notifications on on other social media networks because I go live, we post podcasts, how-tos, there's a ton of information out there. I want you to know it as soon as we drop a new video. Turn on those notifications and share with your friends. And then also, if you like these videos, if you really want to get in depth, I go really fast on these YouTube videos. We all know everyone has attention span issues, especially on YouTube, me included. But if you want to slow things down a little bit and really get into the nitty gritty of trading, press releases, SEC filings, everything I'm going to talk about today, check out the Steady Trade team. I slow it down, 45 minute webinars versus four minute YouTube videos. You can really get that information and ask questions. You know, again, this video, obviously you can't ask questions to a pre-recorded video. All of the steady trade sessions are live. All right, so let's talk about how to cut through the BS on a press release and how to ultimately stay out of trouble, okay? I think that one of the biggest things newer traders run into and you know we talk about this with robin hooders we joke about it a lot and listen if you're on robin hood i got no beef with that especially if you're a new trader as long as you have a plan okay as long as you have a process but we know a lot of these newer traders they just see any sort of news they see a headline i mean you can blame the culture we're in i know we're in a headline culture blame social media a lot of people will retweet or post an article simply based on the headline because the headline confirms their bias. Meanwhile, they don't read the 5,000 page article. We'll save that for another day. I won't get ranty. But the simple fact is we know a lot of people just read a headline, they get excited, they hit the buy button, and I don't want that to be you. I don't want you to get bagged, okay? And a great example I'm gonna talk about today, and if you were on the pre-market prep, which I'll link below, um, I talked about this real time. I joked, um, actually, uh, this dates me, but this, be, this, this buzzwordy press release, as soon as I read it, I'm like, this sounds like Mary Poppins where, where she sings supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I'm like, this press release is a joke. Now, that being said, it came out in the morning on the 13th, uh, and you can see the stock ran nuts in pre-market, and hell, hey, listen, if you were there fast, that's one thing. But most of you aren't up at four or five in the morning. And I don't want you trading at four or five in the morning anyway. The people that really I want to help, and, and it's probably you. I mean, you only have so much time. Is a lot of people got bagged on this press release buying, you know, during that pre-market prep. I'm live at 8.30 Eastern, and the stock was in the 8.50s, 8.60s ton of people piled in and then look at this waterfall after the open and then all day fade and then ends up gapping down the next day. So what I wanna point out is exactly that press release and then I've also got a tip on some SEC filings that get will get you ahead of the minions because hey, if you saw this PR coming the day before, that's when you gotta be looking to attack this stock, not after the fact with these buzzwords. So let's jump over to WIMI's PR and read it together. So WIMI obtains a patent, you ready? New 3D holographic pulse laser processing device to further advance the application of holographic technology in EV autonomous driving and other EV areas. I mean, all they're missing is Bitcoin and weed, and this would probably be the greatest BS press release headline in the history of the world, okay? So now, it's a patent, yes, it might go somewhere, but ultimately, I mean, come on, how big of a market is 3D holographic pulse laser processing? And then, especially in the application of holographic technology and EV autonomous driving. And, you know, it's a penny stock with a history of failing. So when you get these so buzzwordy stocks, the next thing I want you to do is bring up that, you know, multi-year, multi-month chart and look at WIMI. I mean, yes, it ran 
back in the summer, but then just got destroyed. And look at when it ran the last time. Uh, uh, October ran up, destroyed, ran up, destroyed, ran up. And so do you want to be buying this stock that you got to be dubious about on that press release? Okay. And I mean, it's one thing if they announce like real news with, with, with substance like earnings. I mean, one of the reasons we love earnings winners is if you, you know, earnings are audited. Okay. This is SEC filing. I mean, if you misstate your earnings, you're going to jail. Now, you can be f- colorful and flowery on a press release and nobody nobody gets in any trouble. So we're looking for real information and, you know, concrete numbers. Another thing I want you to look for in, in press releases, and penny stocks are notorious for this, they'll say unnamed partner, huge red flag. So you'll see, we, we had another stock, um, it's escaping me, but you know they announced a, a, uh, a partnership with a large company, you know, but they don't name the partner, lead market leader, et cetera. I mean, that's because if, 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 listen, if it's Apple, okay, they'd say it was Apple. If it was Amazon, they'd say it was Amazon. So unnamed partners, like large contracts, they'll say large contract, you know, record contract, but they'll, they won't have numbers. Or my favorite is the up to, you know, you'll see penny stocks over and over again, particularly penny stocks that fail. They'll say, you know, awarded a contract for up to 20 million. Well, what's that mean? Does that mean five bucks, 50 bucks? You know, what is up to? I mean, sure, if everything goes great, which we know all penny stocks are incompetent and fail, that never goes great. So those are the biggest red, red flags you want to look for. Flowery buzzwordy language like WIMI, and then those vague terms, unnamed partners, you know, unnamed timeframes, multi-year, you know, up to all these things that are the big red flags that you got to be so, so cautious for. And listen, I just don't want you to get in to something like WIMI and then look at this multi-day fade. And at the point, I actually, it's, I'm, I'll be curious, drop me a comment below. What's WIMI at? The day you're watching this video, to me, it's probably going to be at four or five bucks all the way back. And everyone that believed that press release is hating life right now. I don't want you hating life. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is SEC filings and how you can focus on these four keywords that might allow you to spot that WIMI press release in advance. So um, every every company has to announce an 8K, you know, they have to file with the SEC file or with the SEC when they have upcoming news, when they have upcoming earnings, when they have insider buys or sells. There's a lot of intricacies in SEC filings. But what's great about stocks to trade is every single SEC filing drops in. And you can see with TTCM here, the interesting thing, this filing got posted on August 25th, 2020. And they talk about, you know, this great, you know, ArcNet mobile platform, which is buzzwordy, we like. And then they let you know that there's an upcoming press release to follow. Doesn't mean you buy the stock, but if you're looking at your filings and you're scanning on these low price stocks, it tells you that you need to be ready. So let's look at TTCM, what happened a few few days later after that filing hit or after the filing was announced. So it gets posted on August 25th, okay? Next day, stock gaps up, PR drops, and it runs from, you know, this is an OTC stock. So a thousandth or, or nine one thousandth of a penny all the way up to, you know, 17 one hundredths of a penny. Basically a 100% run. Now they don't all do that. But what would what's awesome about this, you can see it coming. And if you're looking at that intraday chart, you see that volume come in, you see that breakout happen, and you can attack those high day breaks, attack those dip and rips, and all those patterns I look about, or, or I talk about in all of these videos. So keep in mind, what's great about Stocks to Trade is we have this SEC filing tab, which allows you to scroll all the way back. I mean, I can look at every filing on, on TTCM all the way back to those filings from October and the, or I'm sorry, August that we were talking about, and I can be ahead of the game. And, you know, listen, Stocks to Trade is a paid subscription. I think the SEC filings that are built into it is one of the most powerful functions out there. Know them, understand them, 
and you can set alerts. So you can be notified when, so if TTCM's on your radar, you can actually create an alert. And when those filings hit, you get that notification on your platform and every little bit of information that puts you ahead of the other guys that are using free tools, whether that be the Robinhood app or Yahoo Finance or Google Finance. I mean, listen, if you can beat them by a minute or hours or days because you're ready, that's one of the best edges you can get out there. I mean, that's everyone talks about HFT, high frequency tradings. I mean, I mean, one of the reasons high frequency trading hedge funds are ridiculously profitable is they're half a second, well, <laughs> more like a thousandth of a second ahead of all of us. And there's money to be made if you can gain that edge. Check out the trial of the stocks of trade, fully functional. You get access to all of the SEC filing uh, screeners. You get access to videos in the Stocks to Trade University where I show you how to use these tools. Hit the link below. And as always, if you're looking to take that next step in your trading, check out the Steady Trade team. Would love to work with you. Small group, every day, live, twice a day. We'll see you in the Steady Trade team.